You got your limit though, huh? Well, congratulations for making the class. Uh, it was about like the other two days. They was slow. And, uh, you know, I ended up catching, I had four today and, and lost one. But it was just, you know, I had to force feed them all week with a jig. And and uh, it would have been nice if they would have got on that thing where I could have got to work on them. But uh, I got, you know, I got some pretty nice ones today. I mean, I only got four, but they're, they're nice ones, you know. So it's just, it's you know, it's about a week off. I'd like to be here next week and, and, and when they move up. They dropped the water and I think that killed, you know, they was up on the bank fairly good. And when they dropped the water yesterday, they pulled off and, and uh, but it, it's, it's all good. Well, congratulations. Buddy. Thank you, I appreciate it. Mark on day three of the women's festival fish. On day three of the classic? Yeah, it was it was really slow. I mean, I fished real hard to get a, a bite and finally caught one little 12 incher and then caught a nine keeper and then caught a three pounder or a two and a half pounder. And it was real slow all day. I finally squeaked out a limit. You know, I had to change tactics. I was throwing a red eye off, you know, lipless crankbait striking all day. And finally I gave up on it and had to go to a smoking rooster and, uh, you know, just dragging it. Rage, rage, uh, striking, smoking rooster, and finally caught a couple more to finish out the limit. Well, congratulations. Hey, nice. You know, I didn't five keepers. I didn't ever get any more big bites. You know, I went up. I just had to go fish the current. That's all I had left. I can't catch up in there, and I didn't have no business standing in there anymore. So I went up the river and fished the jig in the current all day. Never caught any big ones. You know, tough. Tough for me, and what didn't seem to be tough for a lot of them guys today, they caught them pretty good. Matter of fact, they caught them real daggum good. That's what I heard, I heard they hammered them. A couple of 20 pounds, I think Russ has got 20, somebody said he may have 24, said BD's got 20, Kevin Worth's got 20. Not me. It'll be tough in there, isn't it? How do you think it's gonna go? Uh, BD. You think he's gonna get it? Yep, he had a pretty good lead. I mean, if he's got 20 and Russ has got 24, he still had about a six pound lead on Russ. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Good luck next year, man. How'd your day well, go? Well, today was good. I mean, I only caught five keepers, but you know, I'm happy with what I have. I stayed with where I was in the same area and caught them all. Well, congratulations. Oh. I'm here with one of the Federation qualifiers. Go ahead. How was day, your day today? Day three, uh, Birmingham. Probably got right at 14 pounds, really close to maybe the top 10. Some of the guys who were ahead of me by only like a pound, pound and a half, they fell a little bit. So uh, I should move up pretty good today. Congratulations. Final day of the Classic? Um, well, after yesterday, I um, just wanted to day and try to get even a little bit, just for my own personal satisfaction. And that really didn't work out too good for me either. I, uh, I managed to catch four today, kind of scrambled around. Yesterday, I kind of died on one, one or two groups of fish. but. You know, that's what this event is all about. We come here to win this event. We don't come here to fish chicken and to run around trying to get a bite here and a bite there. And when you get on a good fish like what has the potential that I was on the first day, uh, it's really hard to leave those fish in a tournament like this, even when things aren't working your way. Because you know, you know if, if everything just lines up right for 30 or 40 minutes, of what could happen. And, you know, those fish are still on those, on those two or three spots. I caught that big bag off of the first day. I just never could get them to set back up again and get them to go. But, you know, that's just part of fishing. And we'll just uh, go this year. What, what were you catching with? I caught all my fish this week on a, on a half ounce B&M football head jig. Um, half ounce what? B&M football head jig. Uh, what color? A green pumpkin. What? Green, green pumpkin. pumpkin. Okay. Um, so how many pounds do you think you got? Uh, probably eight today. Eight today. You got any good ones? No, just, just four keepers. Four keepers? Go ahead. Uh, day went good, a little slow progression, you know, just kind of uh, kept pounding and pounding and pounding. And, uh, I heard you got some good fish, huh? I got a couple real nice ones. Put your whole one up for me. Uh, yeah, right over there. My other pocket on one. Uh, straight across the brain. How yeah, many yeah. you got to go yeah, with I that? One? I got five. I got another one. Got another one that close? Bust a move on her, boy. Yeah. All right. Day three of the classic. How was your day? Uh, it, was, it was a tough day, like yesterday. Uh, I only had a, I had a more than five bites, but uh, I lost one. I missed a couple of them. Uh, uh, overall, I had a pretty
pretty good tournament. So Congratulations. Off that. Good, good luck on how day three went on a classic. It was just, you know, I had swing for the fence and catch a big sack, so, uh, you know, that's what I tried. I stayed out on the river most all day and fished a current and, you know, kept hoping for a big, big stringer, but never happened. Well, good luck. Tell, tell us how your day three of the Bass Master Classic went today, please. Well, it was uh, it was pretty tough on me today. Uh, I, I scrambled around and ended up catching a limit, but uh, didn't catch quite enough to, to win, I don't think. So, but uh, all in all, I had a good tournament. Uh, I fished clean, didn't lose any fish. Uh, I just think I ran out of. Them. Well, congratulations. Good luck. How did they go on day three of the Classic, Mike? Day went great. Went out there, caught a limit. Took a lot of chances to try to win, so we'll see if it was enough or not. But you know, anytime you're in the hunt on the last day of the classic, it's a chance. Congratulations.